Yeah, oops, sorry about that, boys and girls. Hello and good morning. This is your old pal, Uncle Al, aka Die Bullfrog 79. Now, Uncle Steve made jokes about my intro, but it's my intro and I have fun. <clears throat> Today, we're going to cover an interesting subject. If you can see that, that guy with the sword and the guy with the spear. Now, everybody thinks, oh, the guy in the sword, with the sword is going to win. In history, it's the guy with the spear that's going to win. Let's start it up and see, boys and girls. Let's see. Okay. I hope they're moving. Yeah, let's see. Magic tablet. Okay, let me close this out real quick, boys and girls. Ah, let's see. Button. Okay, we're going to close that one down. Now, uh, a lot of people ask me, what's this video about? Well, today's video is for Sa Sandra the Sh Chandra the Strange of the Staff. Now, legally, everybody can have a staff. It's a walking stick. Make sure it's a meter high for our European and Asian counterparts as a yard stick, and a half. So basically, it's half of the yard or half of the meter. But two meters is about six feet. So I go about seven feet if you want to do it on clown style. But on clown style is a little off. So why the staff? Well, you can't have a spear because some areas, Europe, England, Illinois, America, thinks it's a weapon. But you can have a walking stick or a staff, perfectly legal. And our friend Michael Sign, please check out his channel and videos. If you haven't seen his past videos, go please check them out. And Michael, you could do a staff. It's a hiking stick. And if they take you to court, uh, just tell them you have a limp and it's a hiking stick. And every judge in Illinois will look at the arresting officer and that arresting officer is going to be walking on the wrong side of Chicago. Okay, reason why the staff? Uh, I forgot to bring out my bush knife. Right. Uh, somebody's going to chase you with a, uh, well, not a digging tool, but all you have, well, I don't have a staff indoors, but you have a long stick. Or maybe with uh, walking in, that's fine. Uh, so anyway, Chandra, um, two channels you want to really investigate are Spears Are Better Than Swords by Lindy, Lindsay Bay. He's, in, he's from England or UK, and he did scientific research with his other YouTube a co a collaborator, Matt Easton from Scaladorius Gladiatorius something. I can't pronounce it, but it's in the in the YouTube blog. Okay, and his is about Matt Easton's one. I can pronounce that. His yeah, Spears, Why They Defeat Swords. Optimal. Well, let me tell you, throughout history, more people were armed with spears. Why? It's easier to train. You have twice the reach of a sword. I had a bush knife, but I can't remember where to put it at. Okay. Okay, and uh, really in the wild. Easiest thing, take your hatchet, go with your mom to the woods, get a tree, uh, you know, to make a staff. Make sure it's twice the height of you. Now that's staff. A lot of Boy Scouts in the old days used it. You use a tent pole, a spear, a fishing rod, uh, something to jab with. I'm going to use this cane, jab with. It'll give you three times the reach, then a handheld, whatever. 
bush knife, uh, or pick, digging tool. So anyway, uh, please check out my friend Jordan Jakenberg's channel. Jordan has the same problem. In his country, a lot of people are using machetes to attack other people's machetes. Okay, that puts you at a little disadvantage because Sweden's nuts. Don't carry a firearm or a weapon to defend yourself against these Sudanites when they invade your house. So easiest way to get a pitchfork. Tell them you use it for gardening. So what the hell the Swedish police will look at it, bring it to the judge. Uh, judge, he has a gardening pitchfork. Uh, he grows vegetables or flowers. What's wrong with that? Uh, he used to defend himself against a guy with a machete. Do you know a Swedish judge will make that Swedish policeman walk around that troubled neighborhood about 80 times without a pistol? Now, boys and girls, a pitchfork is good for our friend, my, um, sorry, like Didi or Floor Jungle or um, Kathleen in the UK, uh, Jordan, J Jordan, and Sweden, and a few others in other countries. Uh, pitchfork is an agricultural tool or a gardening tool. You're not going like, uh, I'm going to put it underneath my coat and I have a drive by. I'll stick my head out and carry a a pitchfork, um, using my cane for example, stick myself out of the car and chase people down with a pitchfork. That's idiotic. But anyway, if you see all those old movies, you see um, people in the crowd with pitchfork. Well, if you're poor and you live under a tyrannical or moronical or not moronical, um, well, you know what I mean, under a cane or Socialist, you only have a pitchfork. And pitchfork does well against machete because machete is not a thrusting weapon. It's a slashing weapon. And a lot of you guys like, oh, oh, you're kind of boring. I like the hat. But I don't understand. I'll give you a machete and I'll take a pitchfork or yari. Now, Dad in YouTube who studies judo better know what a yari is. It's a Japanese spear, a thrusting spear. Not a slashing, thrusting. So everybody's wondering, well, what the hell is that? Uh, during World War II, when the Japanese meet equal opponents with rifles and long uh, bayonets, they're evenly or better match. Uh, the Russians learned this early, and the Americans learned this early. If you go against World War II Japanese soldiers, with like Springfield or Motion Nagats, uh, they're going to beat you because they have a 51 reach and you have only the Muslim has equal 49 reach, a couple of inches difference. But the skill, I read a lot of historic accounts, and a lot of people don't understand. Uncle Alan reads a lot. And if you don't have tanks, machine guns, flamethrowers, or mortars, uh, you're not matched very well. There was one famous paratroop, and the Marines fought the naval landing force in Japan on this little tiny island. Both sides lost, but after they counted and figured out what was damaged, logistically, the Japanese won. Because they had a smaller force, but Americans used twice as many men to take the hill with Springfields and long bayonets. After that, they use a lot of cannon fire and machine guns. Okay? Now, understand this. Also, hand grenades and other things. But they learn fast. Very fast learning curve. So what's the point? Get a staff. A lot of you. And a lot of you like, oh, I got a machete. Or, or I got this to defend myself. Or a butcher knife. No, that's not going to work. And like I said, I've been doing these little bits and vignettes because I'm having fun. And once I'm on a roll, I don't stop. And Hubble's cat says, but don't go out. I'm a pacifist or a socialist or some kind of is. Uh, it's a hiking stick. It's a staff. If you put a blade on it, it's a spear. Uh, let's see the Royal Canadian Police arrest you for walking in the woods. Oh wait, they can do that. 
Okay, boys and girls, I'll catch you later. It's running long. Like and subscribe. Hit the little like button. Hit the subscribe button. This is your old pal, Uncle Al, a.k.a. Die Bullfrog 79. Check me out.